Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're gonna be showing you guys three methods to resolve a black screen when logging into Windows Server. Hopefully this can help you save some critical data from being lost. But before we jump into that, if you're interested in purchasing Windows Server, remote desktop licenses, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. Place. It's usually associated with graphics drivers, Windows updates, or a malfunctioning or corrupted explorer process. If you're able to access the task manager, restarting the computer may offer a temporary solution. However, in some cases, Windows may be unresponsive and will require some useful fixes. All right guys, so this first fix is specific to users experiencing this issue on Windows Server 2019. And what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna turn off Windows audio service. All right, so in order to do this from our computer, we're gonna go to our settings in Windows, and we're gonna navigate to accessibility, and then here we'll hit keyboard, and then we can go ahead and establish an RDP connection to the server that we're trying to fix. Now, we're not gonna go over remote desktop connections or configuration today. If you wanna see that tutorial, click right here. All right, so once we've established that connection to our server, we're gonna hit Windows key and R together to open the run command. Okay, we'll hit CMD. We're gonna go ahead and run our command prompt. We'll click okay. And with our CMD window open, we are gonna type this command. We're gonna copy and paste this in the description, um, or you may have to manually enter that with your on-screen keyboard. We'll just hit enter. Now executing this command should generate a result for the audio dg.exe, and it will have a corresponding PID. Uh, the reason it's not working for me here is because I'm on server 2022, but again, we just wanted to show you guys this is specific to server 2019. And the last step in that process will be to execute task kill uh, forward slash PID and then your specific PID number, which you would have found in the last step. So it'll look something like this, and you'll press enter. Now, if this didn't work for you, Hang on tight because we've got a couple more methods to try. Okay, the next thing that we're gonna try is to add the NT authority slash interactive to the users and security groups. Now we're gonna repeat the same steps from the last method in terms of the remote desktop protocol as well as the on-screen keyboard. And then again, we're gonna go ahead and run the CMD. All right, and then once we're there, we're gonna run the following command. We'll hit enter. And this is gonna pull up our local users and security groups. We're gonna enter groups. All right, at the very bottom of the groups folder, we have users. We're gonna right click and we'll hit properties. Now here we can see that we do have NT Authority Interactive already in this folder here. We're gonna assume that it's not, so I'll go ahead and remove it. All right, from this window, we're gonna hit locations. We'll click server two. If you're connected to a domain here, it's gonna prompt you for credentials. You can uh, cancel out of that and then click back on the server. So we just wanna select our server and we'll press okay. And then here we're gonna be able to check the name for what we're trying to enable. So I'm gonna type interactive and then to complete the process of adding the user to the group, we're just gonna press okay. There we go, we can hit apply and okay again. And there it is, all right. We're gonna move on to the last method. So the last thing we're gonna try is to turn off user account control. Now this time from the run window, we're gonna want to enter our control panel. From here, we're gonna click systems and security. All right, so right here, change user account control settings. We're gonna see this bar here where it'll notify us about changes to the computer. We're gonna drag this all the way down and then we'll press okay to save changes. Uh, this will require a restart to take effect so we'll do that, and then after logging back into server, the black screen issue should be resolved. All right guys, so that's gonna do it for today's video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about any of this process, drop those in the comment section below, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Again, if you're interested in purchasing server, remote desktop licenses, and a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, 
check out Indigo Software. We'll put links in the description box below. So thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.